that time of the of the postseason once again where we get to play uh blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's been a long day pro bowl it's the pro bowl week um as per always ea sucks i want to play the pro bowl never thought those were words i would actually say but mm, there we go um i want to play it so let's get the music starting and it's actually gonna be a different song because I've had the music just constantly running um, since uh, I l ended the last episode. So, uh... Right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go Pro Bowl roster. We're going to update our guys. Look at our guys, right? Um, even though it doesn't look like there's a thing for that. Interesting. Um, then we're going to look at the Texans. Because apparently, we did face the Texans last year. We've faced the Texans three years in a row. This has been the same Super Bowl three years in a row. Um, and then we're going to look at some NFL prospects. So, that's what we're going to do. So, let's go to Pro Bowl. And let's take a look. See what we got going on here. Uh, Trey Lance, Lamar. Love, Darnold, Prescott, Stafford. Interesting. Uh, Mixon, Kamara, Elliott. I mean, look at that backfield, bro. Mixon, Elliott, and Aaron Jones with, with Juice. Kamara, Derek Henry, and Nazi Harris with Janovic, uh, Janovich. Okay, yeah, that's pretty fucking good, too. Um, Ronald Moore, Ayuk, A. Brown, <laughs> Calvin Ridley. Uh, Calvin Ridley's still in the game, and he's at 89. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Um, I want to see if there's any lower people. Of course, there's two tight ends, Schultz and Uzuma. Um, both in the low 80s. Um, okay, D. Reisner, 84. I want to see that. That's the thing we want to look for this time, is I want to take a look and see if we can see all these lower-level players. J.J. Watt's in 85 right now. That's kind of crazy. Um, that's crazy. Okay, M. Campbell, 76. Larry Ogjobi, Og 79. Cool. All right, Matt Judon, 83. Jay Davis, I wonder if that's like Jordan Davis, 81. Bobby Wagner's a 79 now. Um, all right, so now corners. D. Holmes, 77. Needleham, 79. Flowers, 77. All right, free safety, 73. Is that the lowest? Is 73 the lowest that we're gonna see? Punter. Nope, here we go. So, returners. We're not going to count returners, though. Um, I want to look at this from the actual position positions, not returners. So, Stevenson. Stevens. Brandon Stevens. I'm pretty sure that might be the Ravens. One of the Ravens' backups. 73. Is that the lowest player? Nope, 71. Gilliam. Still. Um, it's kind of crazy. All right, so that's that's that. Um, apparently, we don't have any player updates, which is kind of crazy. Um, weekly awards is probably Alexander, right? Nope, it's Brailford. All right, two sacks, two fumbles forced. Wow, both the Titans players are on. Wow, okay. Was not. Who's not expecting that? Okay, so we don't have any staff. We have literally nothing we can do staff-wise. Nothing we can do staff-wise. We can't even, like... We can't even fucking do anything here, really. So let's just look at rosters. Alright. Let's go look at the Texans. Texans. Alright, so we'll go position by position like normal. Right, so we got Deshaun Watson, we got Heineke, and then we got Morgan and Perkins. James Morgan, Bryce Perkins. Um, so we got Deshaun Watson, uh, Christian McCaffrey, Darrell Henderson, and Siwa Ulanelui. 6'3", god damn. Big boy. What, what is he as an overall? He's a 71. Mm. Probably wasn't available when I was doing mine. Um, DJ Moore, Elijah Moore, Kadarius Tony. Anthony Christmas and Jerry Redmond. Look at the speed on this fucking receiving core, bro. 93, 93, 94, 91. And even Noah Fant. 
And Moses Abraham. That was one. Of, that was the one that I wanted. God damn it! I forgot about. I forgot about Abraham. That was the guy that we were. That I wanted to get up for us. He would have been really good for us. Uh, George Fant is gonna get fucking destroyed in pass pro. Oh my god, 77. Alright, 84, Jonah. Alright, 87, David Andrews. Okay. AJ Kane, 75. Okay. And, uh, If we don't abuse these tackles, oh. Alright, then we got Eric Armstead. Yannick. Javon Hargrave. Solomon Thomas. Hey, Gil Wharton. Why do I feel like that's another name that sounds very familiar? Uh, Justin Hollins, Malik Jefferson, uh, Alexander Johnson, Mackay Kaiser, and Voson Joseph. I remember I used to get him quite a bit in Madden franchises because um, he's fast. He's a fast linebacker. Fast linebackers are always Shaq Thompson. Love Shaq. Uh, I liked him in college. Eight years. God damn. Um, Xavier Howard. Emmanuel Mosley, Justin Lane, Wendell Flanagan, and Earl Butler, uh, Justin Reed. Hmm, he has some things down. Uh, Cody, Jimmy Ward, and he's hurt. Interesting. So Zach Herbert, which I'm pretty sure is a first rounder. Is he? Was he the first rounder? Hold up a second. First rounder. Yep. Alright. So that's the Texans. Alright. Um, kind of a very easy, quick look. Um, only thing I want to look at is injury report, because I do want to see if Jimmy Ward is going to be out for a while. Torn Labrum for Dylan Moses. Unfortunately, he will not be back in time, which is unfortunate. Same with Jimmy Ward, though, so hey. I'll trade that. I'll trade their starting safety for our special for our uh, specialist um, all day. Um, so now, all we're going to do is this: is we are going to look at uh, college players. All right, we're going to do some scouting real quick here. Right. All right. So what I want to do is this: I want to do some scouting, and I want to start actually like getting. Favorites. So I'm Mallard, Tim Jones, Human, Tim Jones, Christian Fisher. There we go. So at least we have we have a decent amount of quarterbacks in different um, rounds as well, just in case, right? Um, I'm gonna go like that as well because I, I like Tim Jones over Houston, uh, over Human. I like these guys just being big, strong guys, big, strong uh, arm guys. Um, Tailbacks, we have a couple that we've added onto this list. Um, they're all round three guys. Round three, four, so like mid-round guys. Um, I doubt we'll draft any of them, but uh, no fullback because we got Danny. No wide receiver. I will add some real quick, though. Let's take a look here. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go three, four. Three, four. So let's see here. Mm, Jermaine Vincent. C, B, C, F for injury. Elite speed. So let's add him. Add him as a favorite. He's gone up a lot. I don't like that. Mario Vincent, 6'3". I like bigger guys at wide receiver. I always have. Um, it's a tight end. Of course, I'm pretty sure we favorited all of them. It looks like we've traded it almost all of them. Uh, Bobby Wells. Deion Smart is kind of the guy, though, that I really like. So I'm actually going to move him all the way up. Um, he's just too... He's too good. Right? A, A, B. It's just... Across the board, I just... I like him the most. Oh, that's Josh Vaughn. Why is it on Josh Vaughn? Why did it move him over to number one? What is going on right now? Um, catching traffic is an A. His run block for Nets is a B. His pass block is B, and his carrying is a B. So, 
is a run blocker with a catch in traffic that's really high. That's exactly what we want. Um, no line. Because my line is pretty solid right now, and I don't think we need to uh, address it as of this moment. Um, Nixon is a guy that we could potentially move inside or even have him um, replace Scott so that Scott then can come to the pass rush side of things. Um, Quincy McKenzie, kind of the same thing. Both of these guys are kind of the same thing um, positionally. Uh, D tackles I'm not looking at because instead, like I said, I'm looking at those guys to move them over. Same thing here. These guys as potential linebackers will move to the end. Um, no middle, no right. Uh, two corners. Willie Johns, Brandon White. No strong. A bunch of free safeties, though. Um, you know, so it's one of those things where hopefully, because none of these guys seem... In Bryson Torrance, maybe. Like, as a true. He really is a solid man, and it's like. <sighs> Warren Wall. See, I wish I could see awareness and zone. Those are the two that I wish I could see. Out of all of these. See, like this guy's a block shedding that's an A. That's not going to help us at free safety. Right? That's a guy, though, that we could potentially. You know, I'm going to grab it like that. If he has an A block shedding, this is a guy that we could get that potentially could play the nickel position, which would allow Jam to move back to free safety and let him just fucking fly the field. This dude has an A hit power and an A block shedding. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brian Leno. I'm going to add him to it too. He's 6'4", 207. Basically just run two fucking safety. Run fucking three safeties. Just a three safety diamond on the field at all times. And then just two corners. Damn. I don't like what I just did in my brain with that. <laughs> I don't like what I did in my brain with that. That kind of scares me. All right, there we go, though. As of right now, though, like I've said, I've said it a couple times, as of right now, Mallard's our first pick. Dion Smart. These are our one-twos right here. These are the two guys that I want, right? Um, and then from there, it's going to be one of those things. We're going to do a lot more looking once we get to uh, the postseason so we can fully kind of dive, fully dive in, right? Because as of right now, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it all depends on who, who comes back and who does who I bring back, who I don't, right? Because um, there's a lot of people whose names, who are names of the team. However, though, uh, I just don't know if we can bring them back, you know, that sort of thing. Because it's like, you look here, right? Tack. Tack's one of those guys that, like, he plays very well for us, but can we do better? Yes. Jordan Tamu, same thing. Fumagala, I'm probably going to bring back. Uh, Johnson, I, re I signed to a one-year deal. Brandon Knight. Barrett. Khalil Davis, right? Like, Trey Pearson's getting a seven-year deal. I already said that. Um, Green. Does he come back? Daylon Mack. You know, Isaiah Wright. And then you look at next year, right? Next year, Cooper. Kelamete. Giff. Carlos. Like, do we lose the Carlos? Do we lose the Davis brothers? Two years in a row. You know, like, does it, like, it is the end for them. Um, Howard. Jam. Oh, my God. Next year's is just... Oh, my God. This is just murder. So, AJ Moore's... Uh, whatever. Evan Brown's whatever. Willis. Okay. Where you let him go? Henry. Henry's probably going to be a guy that I want to keep around. Um, Stevenson's going to be a guy we keep around. Tay is going to be a guy we keep around. Jam is a potentially a guy that we could keep around. Uh, Howard, yes. Sloop's probably going to be gone after this season. Crosswell might be gone. Bradley, maybe. You know, Scarlett, do we bring him back as a power back? You know, like, it's like there's so many 
it's starting to get to the point now where names are more tied to these players than their actual stats and their numbers. You know? Oh, this year is going to hurt too, to an extent. Oh, that year is going to hurt too, just looking at it. Because, like, Alexander's going to get a massive contract. Sharpton's going to get a big contract. Um, Amir, I want to bring back. Uh, Huntley's not coming back. Hunter's probably not coming back at that point. Ost probably isn't going to be back. Philip might. Brailford might. Prince might. Terrence is going to get a contract. Stewart's going to get a contract. Isaiah might. Like, that's... And, of course, then we got these two guys. That are on six years still. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the only people that are at five years right now are is Dawkins, Moses, and Love. So, I mean, like I said, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how everything continues to develop as it goes down, right? Um, but now I'm going to do this, right? Because this is a shorter... Uh, this is a shorter video, so I'm going to pause the music real quick. This is a shorter video. I want to know what you guys think for the future of this franchise. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that I should start looking to get newer players? Or do you guys think that I should reward people who have played well for us, even though their overalls aren't good? Right? Um... Because there's a side of me that wants to reward players that play well for us, right? But then there's also the side of me that wants to just get overall just better players. Um, so like I said, I want to know what you guys think about that. And let me know down in the comments down below. Because that's the biggest thing is I want to see, you know, as, as the owner of the Toronto Huskies, I want to know what the fans, what the people think, right? Um, and that's the biggest thing. So, uh, we'll see, moving forward, right, what happens. Um, but, that's moving forward. That's looking in the future, right? As of right now, we got the Houston Texans. We got the Houston Texans. Three years in a row. Can we make it three wins in a row? That is the new question. 